Europe affects us in our everyday lives now in Europeans. Deep in a Lithuanian forest, they're turning one of the oldest known sources of energy into a fuel of the future. It's wood. They're turning twigs and branches that would previously have been discarded into biomass. Today, this one-time waste will be put to good use, providing heat and hot water for homes in the Lithuanian capital, Vilnius. The company, Bionovus, recently took part in a project backed by the European Union's Intelligent Energy Europe program. The scheme, called Five Eures, brought together biomass producers and users from across the EU with some impressive results. Three years ago, Bionovus decided to join the project. At that time, our company was doing a different type of work. It was just creating its system of biomass supply. Together with the five EU member states, our project partners, we have been participating in the project for three years. We've been able to benefit from the best practices used in EU countries like Finland and Germany. Biomass is environmentally friendly because it's carbon neutral. When burned, it only releases back into the atmosphere carbon dioxide that was absorbed by the plants as they grew in recent years. In other words, it doesn't increase contemporary carbon dioxide levels, which are a major cause of climate change. Fossil fuels, on the other hand, release carbon dioxide absorbed millions of years ago, resulting in a net increase in today's CO2 levels. Because it can be made from trees and other plants grown within the European Union, biomass can also help the EU reduce its dependence on imported energy. Once the biomass produced in the Lithuanian forest arrives at this energy plant on the outskirts of Vilnius, it's channeled into a huge boiler. Here it's burned to provide heat for residents via the city's municipal heating system. The plant is owned by the city of Vilnius, but operated by an independent company, which says it decided to use biomass as a fuel for some very hard-nosed business reasons. Everybody talks about strategies and practices, environmental protection, global warming and green power. But when decisions about investments are made, the determining factor is payback. So our decision is governed by favourable financial factors because it's profitable to use biomass in our boilers. At the moment, just one of the plant's four boilers uses biomass, but the site's operators say there's potential to increase significantly the amount of the renewable fuel they burn. And the residents who benefit from hot water and heating provided by the municipal plant say biomass heating has a wealth of plus points. I'd probably like to tell all the municipalities that, to my mind, the more clean and ecological fuel is used, the better it will be for everyone. Cleaner air to breathe and less strain on the finances. And they're also burning biomass in France at Comel Vernet. Biomass is not only used for heating whole cities or districts, it can also be used in individual houses. Energy cabins like this one are a new development that it's hoped will encourage more people to use biomass to heat their homes. The cabin contains a biomass boiler and a storage area for fuel. That's generally in the form of wood chips like the ones being used here or specially made wood pellets. The cabin is completely mobile. It can be placed near a house and then simply connected to the heating system, avoiding the need for expensive building work. Jean-Paul Gallon, who runs a small business that specializes in wood-based heating systems in central France, has just started selling energy cabins. He believes they are the way forward. If a family has two or three children and not much space, they could, instead of using part of the cellar as a storage area for wood chips, keep it all somewhere outside. And if the supply is outside, why not put the boiler next to it? Then you'd gain extra space. Encouraging individuals to switch to biomass heating at home, using systems like energy cabins, is the aim of another project funded by the Intelligent Energy Europe programme called Biohousing. Jimmy Pennequin, who works for an organisation called Biomass Normandie, based in the northern city of Caen, 
is the project's coordinator in France. Today in France, wood as an energy source is a rather old image, and people aren't always aware of the new technologies that are available and that have been developed. With the rise in the oil price, the advantages are obvious, since that's at only $100 a barrel. And they're burning it in Slovenia too. Biomass also offers an opportunity to develop and diversify Europe's rural economies. Stane Kusir runs a family farm in the hills about 20 kilometers from the Slovenian capital Ljubljana. With help from national authorities and the EU, he bought this state-of-the-art equipment for transforming low-quality wood grown on his land into valuable biomass. This is the only way for farmers to have opportunities for a new income in the future. Cattle breeding wasn't enough, so we needed extra work. My wife lost her job in Ljubljana a few years ago, so now we both work here on the farm. And once again, the Intelligent Energy Europe program is playing a role. The Agri for Energy project helps farmers and rural forestry workers learn about the economic potential of producing biomass. The scheme is being coordinated by the Slovenian Forestry Institute. For farmers like Kushia, biomass is the only means to survive. It allows the farm to stay as it is, so that the children can remain, and the farm itself can be preserved in the long term. In such cases, biomass can represent more than 50% of a farm's income. Moreover, that's a new income, which is important for the future. One of the biggest customers for Stana Kushir's biomass is the local spa resort, which uses the fuel to heat its luxury swimming pools. The decision to heat the pools and the apartments with biomass was already made from the outset. We want a spa that is environmentally friendly and uses energy as sparingly as possible. To achieve that, we installed the biomass burner. Like all renewable energy sources, biomass alone doesn't represent a single magical solution to the EU's energy problems, but used wisely as part of a coordinated policy to help reduce energy use and favour renewables wherever possible, it could seriously help the Union turn up the heat on climate change.